Hi, my name is Raoul Herzog and I would like to briefly explain the core elements of OpenCN regarding the optimal trajectory planning. What were the basic requirements we had? Uh, first of all, a jerk control. Linux CNC does not have jerk control. Uh, no jerk control means that the acceleration might jump and this might excite machine vibrations leading to bad uh, surface quality of the machine uh, piece. The second one was to apply recent results in optimal control and embedded optimization to OpenCN. And the last one uh, is to code it in such a way that it's flexible, Flex flexible to change the algorithm afterwards. Let us start with the, um, the structure of the trajectory planning. Uh, we have at the left here the uh, ISO code coming in, the interpreter, and the ISO code is composed of pieces of uh, curves, which we describe by R depending on U. So we have different pieces uh, for K equal one, two, three, etc., and each piece is represented by a vector r k depending on a variable u k. We normalized each u k from zero to one. Uh, all the operations here are uh, purely geometrical and it's followed by time domain operations where we would like to have the dependency of u with respect to t, the time. At the end, we are composing both functions. So the R is depending on U, which is depending on T, and we are resampling it at, for example, 10 kilohertz, which gives the set point values for the different drives. At the base, uh, a CAT CAM program does not have smooth transitions bet between the curve pieces. So the idea is here we need to smooth the transitions between the, the curve pieces and we would like to have a time optimal feed rate planning subject to physical constraints typically maximum speed per piece maximum acceleration per axis maximum jerk uh, per axis a complex cat cam program might have 100,000 pieces of curves and of course, you need uh, to have very reliable, robust, numerically reliable uh, algorithms and sufficiently fast. Uh, let's speak about geometric continuity. Uh, the situation we don't like is this one with the transition here, where the first parametric der derivatives um, is discontinuities. Is discontinuous. Here we have a, a jump in uh, curvature, so a discontinuity in the curvature. Um, what we like is a G2 continuity, and for the G2 continuity, we have the first parametric derivatives which are collinear and the curvature vector which is continuous. And with this, we avoid uh, jumps in acceleration. So the basic idea is the following. Uh, we are cutting out a part of both pieces around the discontinuity, which is here. So we are cutting out this dashed part here, this dashed part here, and we are replacing the missing parts by a new curve, which we call a completion, a curve completion. completion in such a way that we have a G2 continuity, continuity here at P0 and here at P1. Okay, so we are searching for a natural uh, curve completion, uh, which, is, which should be loop-free, cusp-free uh, transition. So the blue one here is not suitable for, for us. There are infinitely many solutions. So how to find the best one? You have to pose a cost function. 
So the cost function we propose is the following. It's the integral of the norm of the third parametric derivative of R. So this is the, curve, uh, the cost function we propose. And you, as you can see for the blue curve here, the blue transition, the cost value is about 3,840. And for the good one here, for the red one, the cost function is only 40, which is a motivation for the choice of this uh, special cost function to be minimized. My colleague uh, Philippe Blanc, who is a mathematician here, found a very elegant analytical uh, solution for this problem, which is very fast and reliable. Uh, it's described by uh, parametric uh, degree 5 polynomials and the determination of the coefficients of these uh, polynomials are based on root finding problems, which is a well mastered problem um, uh, today. The calculation time for one transition in the worst case takes uh, 0.2 milliseconds in MATLAB and 12 microseconds in the C code generated, generated from MATLAB. You can find everything in this uh, recent literature. You can download the paper on, uh, under this link here, and it's an open access paper. Let's talk a little bit about feed rate planning. So feed rate planning is time domain, and we seek to have a uh, trajectory which is time optimal, subject to physical constraints as maximum speed per piece, maximum acceleration per uh, axis, maximum jerk per axis. Uh, it is well known in literature that if you do a change in variable, which means that instead of using u of t as an unknown function, if you use this one here, Q of U, where Q means U dot squared. So with this new function, uh, you end up with a, a convex optimization problem. And even more, you end up with a classical linear program, which can be solved uh, in a very, very elegant uh, way. Since um, there are many, many curved pieces. We cannot optimize everything in one single uh, shot. So what we do is a receding horizon approach. We are only optimizing over a, sh a short interval and uh, we are shifting this interval um, after each time we have a solution. This is the classical receding uh, horizon approach and everything is described in this paper here. Okay, I made an attempt uh, to draw a, uh, an overall block diagram. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, there are too many piece, two pieces here, one in the user space. So all optimizations, geometrical and feed rate planning are done in the user space and resampling is done in the uh, kernel space. So the file enters here with the uh, uh, G code. Then we have the interpreter. We didn't change the uh, interpreter. It's uh, the Linux CNC RS274 interpreter. We only change the representation. So here we support for the moment straight lines and we also support uh, helix. So helix or as a special case, uh, GO2, GO3 are supported. Uh, these representations are going to a queue here, and the smoothing is taking out two curve pieces and cutting off both and inserting a curve completion. This curve completion, uh, together with the shortened uh, pass here, go again to a, a queue. And then we have what we call the splitting. A CAD CAM program yields uh, many lengths, different lengths. You can have very, very small curve pieces of one micron, or you can have long curve pieces uh, of uh, 10 millimeters. So 
if you have two long curves uh, pieces, you have to split them in smaller one. So this is the splitting here. At the end, the lengths are more or less homogenized. And they are go going to the receding horizon queue. So in this horizon, um, receding horizon queue, you have maybe three, four or five curve pieces which are optimized simultaneously. This is called feed rate planning. And the output of the feed rate planning is the um, B spline, which represents Q as a function of U. Then everything is turned uh, to the kernel space. And in the kernel space, we have uh, basically the resampling. So we are combining the geometric representation, uh, R as a function of U, with the feed rate planning, uh, which is finally U as a function of T. And then everything is passed uh, via either cat field bus to the different drives of the machine. A couple of words about the uh, C code generation. So we utilized um, a MATLAB for coding. We had about uh, 2,600 lines of MATLAB code giving about 12,000 lines of uh, C code. These 12,000 lines of C code interact with the framework, the Zinomai frame framework, and with external uh, scientific uh, libraries, for example, the simplex uh, for solving the uh, linear program. I would like to finish with an over, uh, outlook. Uh, of course, there are still missing parts. Um, in the CAD CAM program, you can have the situation where you have a large amount of very, very small uh, G01 blocks. Uh, what we still need is a compressing of those blocks by approximating them by B splines or NERCs. Uh, by spring uh, 2020, we will have a five axis machine here and we will uh, tackle the general kinematics. And we also intend to migrate from MATLAB to Simulink in order to have a more comprehensible um, description of our algorithms. So thank you for watching and thank you for the team for the great job. Bye bye.